at home. My name's Alyssa, and I'm one of the adaptive sport executives at Taking Strides Calgary. I'm excited to lead you through some soccer skills today. Here's what you'll need. A ball, or just yourself, you can do it with or without a ball, and something small that could be like a pylon, so whether it's shoes or a pillow, a stuffed animal. So go grab that stuff and meet me back here. Now that you've got all your equipment, we're gonna start a warm up. So I just want you to jog on the spot and I really want you to think about punching your arms forward and kicking your butt with your legs. So we're just gonna jog like we're running around our neighborhood with our friends or like you're playing a game of tag. We're just gonna get that heart rate up nice and warm. And then I want you to start jogging forwards and then try and run backwards if you can. If it's a little too hard, you can always march forwards or you can march backwards. Any way you can, I just want you to move forwards and backwards. And if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, you can even try bringing your knees up. So a nice high knee run. Now, I want you to stay where you are and just run as fast as you can, like a cheetah's chasing you. Look behind you, is the cheetah gonna get you? Okay. Now that we did a nice little sprint, I want you to just stop for a second and we're gonna grab our ball. And with your ball, you're gonna put it down between your feet and you're gonna reach down and reach up. And reach down into a squat, bend those knees and reach up. Down, up, and you can have a ball or you don't need to have a ball. You can just reach down and up with anything. So like this, down, and up, down, and up. And then at the top, we're gonna go around and give a nice big stretch, back up, and around the other way, and a nice big stretch. Then we're gonna put it down, and bring it up, and we're gonna start with the left side, and go all the way around, back up to the top, like you're the arms of a clock, nice and big, excellent. Now that you're nice and warm, we're gonna start with our first activity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna either dribble around or just run around, whatever you'd like. But when you hear me say freeze, or when you hear the music stop, that's when I want you to freeze. So it'll go like this. Move around, dribble, 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 freeze. And go back, dribbling around, dribble, freeze. And if you didn't have the ball, this is what it'll look like. Run, 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 freeze. And go. Run, 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 run. If you do have a ball, get that ball. Try to maybe move a little quicker, freeze. And dribble again, run, run, run. Keep running and freeze. See if you can put your foot on the ball like that. Run, 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 freeze. Run, 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 freeze. Run, run, freeze. That was really good, you guys. Let's grab some water, take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. Hope you grabbed some water and are ready to keep going. So what we're gonna work on next is some passing. This is a passing that you can either have a partner or you don't need to have a partner. So if you have a friend, a sibling, maybe your parent joining you, you can just pass the ball back and forth with them like this and you'll pass it to them. But if you don't, you're gonna do what I'm gonna do. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pass the ball forward, run, stop it before it hits anything, and then you're gonna do it back. So I, I know I went onto the camera, but this is what it looks like. Pass, stop, and chase it. So again, you're either passing with a friend back and forth, or you're gonna pass with yourself. So let's see how you can do it. Pass, stop. Maybe try the left foot this time. Pass, stop. Pass, stop the ball. If you're passing with your friend, can you maybe move a farther distance? Go a little bit farther apart from each other? Just remember to keep passing, trying different feet. Pass. Ooh, or if you don't kick it hard enough, like I just did, you can just dribble it too. So pass, stop. Pass, 
Stop. How's it going, guys? Keep passing it nice and hard to each other. Stop. Pass. Stop. Awesome work. Now is where you're gonna need your pylons. So I'm gonna use two pairs of shoes. It works great for pylons. And you're gonna set them up about two feet apart. So take two steps, place them apart. There we go. Awesome, so you're gonna take your ball at the top and we're gonna try dribbling with our right foot only the first time if you can, okay? And if you don't have a ball, you're just gonna do the motion through, kind of like you're a snake slithering through the grass. So we're gonna dribble around, around, maybe using your left foot if you need to. And then you're gonna turn back and use your other foot on the way back. You can start out nice and slow if you need to and pick up pace as you get a little bit more comfortable. Or if it's a little too hard, tough that way, try using both feet going through them. Make sure you have some space and move as quickly as you can. The awesome work guys. So again, you're trying with one foot only or with two foot and we're going in and out, in and out in and out of the pylons. Awesome job. Now let's see, this is a really big challenge, but can anybody go backwards? This one you may wanna try, you can do it how I just did it, or just jogging through. But we're just gonna jog forwards and backwards too. There are so many different ways that you can go through these. All you have to do is just keep practicing. Alrighty, so just jog through. Awesome work, guys. Keep dribbling. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Great work, guys. Now we're going to get ready to do a cool down. All right, guys. Now that we worked really hard, we're going to kind of let our bodies cool down and relax a bit. So I just want to bring your heart rate down slowly by just jogging lightly on the spot. Just like you're just going to a friend's house. Nobody's chasing you. You're just trying to take in the pretty scenery around you. And then we're just gonna take it to a march now to just really bring that heart rate down and get a little bit slower. And then once you're feeling pretty good, we're just gonna stop. And we're gonna start with some arm circles. So just bring your arms nice and big. Like they're both helicopter propellers just going around and around and we're gonna move them forward and you want to do it kind of slow so you feel a big stretch. Now we're gonna switch directions. So bring your arms back nice and big. Big circles. Now your arms should be feeling pretty good. Now we're gonna stretch out our shoulders. So you're gonna take one arm in front of you and bring it across your body and then you can kind of pull at it a bit and you should feel a nice stretch in your shoulder right here. So just hold it there and we're gonna switch arms. So I like to swing them back, bring the other arm forward and bring it across your body and a nice big stretch. Excellent. Now this one's one of my favorites. We're gonna reach down to our toes. Can you guys touch your toes? I almost can touch my toes. And you're just gonna reach, reach, reach. And if you can, try and walk your arms forward a bit maybe. Walk them back, walk them to the side. Just see where you feel all that stretch. Go as low as you can. And then, now that you've gone as low as you can, we're gonna go as high as you can. Reach up, up, up. If you can, go on your tippy toes. Reach up to the sky. Up, up, up. Alrighty, now that we've done some standing stretches, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna do a few more. So I love this one. It reminds me of my favorite animal, the butterfly. So you're gonna bring your feet in as close as you can and you're gonna sit up nice and tall and you're gonna flap your wings like a butterfly. Flap, 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 and if you want a bit of a deeper stretch, you can put your elbows down and bring those butterfly wings down or you can flop them again, and like you're flying away in the beautiful weather that we're having. Awesome, and stretch them down once more. Good work. Alrighty, now we're gonna take one leg out, and it's like you're making the shape of a little flag. 
and you're gonna sit up and you're gonna reach for those toes and see if you can grab them. Reach, reach, reach. Awesome. Can anybody bring their nose to their knee? If you can, try. Oh, I'm trying. I'm close, but not quite close. Can you guys get it there? Awesome. You can also do that stretch standing if you'd like. So you can reach down like this and just reach down for that toe. It's the exact same stretch. So we'll do that on the other side. So if you're sitting on the ground, you're gonna have your other foot in reaching for your leg. And if you're standing, you're gonna have your foot and reach down for your toe like so. Awesome work. And you can still bring your nose to your knee like this. I mean, I can't, but maybe you guys can. Awesome. And then next, we're gonna bring our legs up nice and wide. Like you have a big piece of pie or a big piece of pizza, whatever you'd like. And you're gonna reach up. And as my friend Aspen would say, you get to pick what you're gonna put on your pizza. So today I'm thinking pineapple because I love pineapple on pizza. So you're gonna grab all your pineapple and reach for it and put it all over your pizza. Awesome, make sure every area is covered. Go way over to the left corner and way over to the right corner and reach really far forward. And you can do this one standing too. If you want, so your piece of pizza is just like this and you're just gonna reach and put the pizza everywhere. Or put your toppings everywhere. Excellent. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned some new soccer skills and had a fun time doing it. Keep an eye out for more Taking Strides at Home videos by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thanks, bye.